The French authorities have named the man who beheaded a teacher in a Paris suburb yesterday. Police believe Samuel Paty was targeted because he showed people's controversial cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in a lesson on free speech. Abdullah Abouye Zidvich, a Chechen teenager, died after being shot and injured by police. Here's our Paris correspondent, Lucy Williamson. This is the moment police confronted the man who beheaded a teacher on a suburban street. Drop your weapon, they shout. The suspect shoots at them with a BB gun. The next sound you'll hear is police firing back. Today, France's counter-terrorism prosecutor named the suspect as Abdullah Abdouyazedovich A, an 18-year-old Chechen man with refugee status in France. He lived an hour's drive away from Conflans, the prosecutor said, and had to ask school pupils to point his target out. Samuel Paty was a 47-year-old teacher of history and geography who decided to use two cartoons of Mohammed as part of a class on freedom of speech. Investigators say it sparked a social media campaign by one outraged parent and that there had been threats against the school. Yesterday there was a state of shock and now the priority for us is to look after the children because I think it was very hard for them and it still is. Memories are going to come back. He's going to say my teacher's not there and apparently there are photographs going round of the scene. I hope they don't see those because I think they're already going to be affected by this for life. Flowers mark the places where lives are shattered. In France, that list has grown a little longer this week. Conflans, now remembered alongside Paris, Nice, all the other places where hatred of French values has left blood on the country's streets. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Paris.